He who has a why to live, for can bear almost any how. Nietzsche Man's Search for Meaning is a book by Viktor Frankl. The book consists of his tough experience as a prisoner in Nazi death camps during World War II. The memoir endures his life lessons for spiritual survival during 1942 and 1945. He describes sadly that those prisoners who gave up on life, who had lost all hope for a future, and were inevitably the first to die. One of his key ideas, life is not primarily a quest for pleasure or a quest for power, but a quest for meaning. The greatest task for any person is to find meaning in their life. Frankel saw three possible sources for meaning. In work, doing something significant. In love, caring for another person. And in courage, during difficult times. Forces beyond your control can take away everything you possess except one thing, your freedom. The freedom to choose how you will respond to the situation. You cannot control what happens to you in life, but you can always control what you feel and do about what happens to you. In psychiatry there is a certain condition known as delusion of reprieve. The condemned man, immediately before his execution, gets the illusion that he might be reprieved at the very last minute. We too clung to shreds of hope and believed to the last moment that it would not be so bad. The Meaning of Life For the meaning of life differs from man to man, from day to day, and from hour to hour. What matters, therefore, is not the meaning of life in general, but rather the specific meaning of a person's life at a given moment. The Essence of Existence This emphasis on responsibleness is rejected in the categorical imperative of logotherapy, which is Live as if you were living already for the second time, and as if you had acted the first time as wrongly as you are about to act now. The Meaning of Love Love is the only way to grasp another human being in the innermost core of his personality. No one can become fully aware of the very essence of another human being unless she loves him. The Meaning of Suffering We must never forget that we may also find meaning in life even when confronted with a hopeless situation, when facing a fate that cannot be changed. For what then matters is to bear witness to the unique human potential at its best, which is to transform a personal tragedy into a triumph, to turn one's predicament into a human achievement. Critique of Pan-Determinism Man is not fully conditioned and determined, but rather determines himself whether he gives it to conditions or stands up to them. In other words, man is ultimately self-determining. Man does not simply exist, but always decides what his existence will be, what he will become in the next moment. Yet one of the main features of human existence is the capacity to rise above such conditions, to grow beyond them. Man is capable of changing the world for the better if possible, and of changing himself for the better if necessary. Freedom Freedom, however, is not the last word. Freedom is only part of the story and half of the truth. Freedom is but the negative aspect of the whole phenomenon whose positive aspect is responsibility, 
In fact, freedom is in danger of degenerating into mere arbitrariness unless it is lived in terms of responsibleness. The case for a tragic optimism. One is commanded and ordered to be happy, but happiness cannot be pursued. It must ensue. One must have a reason to be happy. Once the reason is found, however, one becomes happy automatically. As we see, a human being is not one in pursuit of happiness, but rather in a search of a reason to become happy. We really love bringing you these videos. If you want to help us create more useful content, please do subscribe to this channel and don't forget to ring the bell for brand new videos.